Awareness, Health and Environmental Alternatives. Starring internationally acclaimed investigative reporter, compelled to help change people's lives. Two-time winner Crystal Awards, the man who tells it like it is. Basil Gold. The man who tells it as it is. <laughs> You've got such a good reputation that I wanted to come on your show to show my new discoveries because of your awareness and your scientific knowledge. Out of everybody in the world, we chose you to ask him the question. Basil, what you're doing is an absolute fantastic thing that we're doing for the American public. Letting them be informed of what we need in the freedom of choice and medical care in the USA. In this edition of Awareness, we're going to embrace the subject matter of cancer. A healthy long life and or a long suffering death. Now folks, take a look at the 33 causes I have put up on the board for you for cancer. It's not handed down in the genes. It's what you put in your. You earn the disease, but not your fault. You didn't know that a cheeseburger, which is so much advertised, is a major cause of problems in the alimentary system. Eating bread, flour, sugars, aspartame, sweet and low, NutraSweet, equal. These are the causes of your cancers. It has often been said that the diseases of the world can be cured with substances of the world. And I'm bringing in two gentlemen today who are going to tell you about this. But we've got to remember that fast foods is one of the first things. Did you know that when John Wayne died, they cut him open, they found 44 pounds of food in his stomach that had been there for 10 years or more. If you're carrying weight, you have cancer. It's that simple. Oh, has it metastasized? Has your doctor told you yet? No, but you've got to understand that food blocked in the intestines is layer upon layer upon layer in your colon. And the colon, which is only two and a half inches to three and a half inches, becomes this full with food all the way. Sometimes right up into the jejunum and up into the stomach. And you have heartburn. There is an indicator. Then you start seeing liver spots. And you're calling them spider veins, varicose veins. These are mucoid plaques that are going to the liver, which becomes overtaxed along with all the other organs. And these are the causes of cancer. There has been an exciting new discovery on things that can regress and actually halt the mutagenic effects of cancer. And I'm bringing in two gentlemen who have a lot of passion in finding preventative ways of cancer, preventing cancer. Mr. Wayne Watson and Dr. David Ganjemi. They'll be in real soon. Keep watching. Well, now, Wayne, I am so happy you came down to Vegas. And I'll tell you folks why I brought Wayne Watson down. And that was the passion you have to educate the people and forming foundations and institutions, putting your money where your mouth is without any reward in return. And that's why people like this show, because I don't sell no products. I don't try and sell you anything. I want to educate people. And that's your passion. That's exactly true, Basil. I've seen your show before, and I know we share that same passion. I'll never forget the day when I was in a hospital in Houston, Texas, and I was standing at the end of my brother's bedside when his surgeon came into him and told him he had liver cancer, uh, told him he better get his affairs in order, and, and he had six months at the most and more like 90 days. And uh, we've all had experiences like that to someone we love, someone who's close to us. And, and I thought there has got to be a better way. We know that the creator of this planet that, that put the diseases and the challenges that we must face in this life also placed here upon the, the, the substances, uh, herbs, vitamins, minerals, uh, amino acids that would help combat those maladies, combat those diseases. And so uh, it has been my, my goal, my nine-year goal now, to, to create situations where we can educate the public. Of course, having seen your show and, uh, and, and having a little bit of an understanding of your overwhelming knowledge in this particular area, I'm so impressed with the, the two awards you won uh, last year for accurate reporting in this medical type of environment. You know, um, you said something there about, the. Uh, in fact, in the opening of the show, folks, where you saw Dr. Dan Rogers 
and he said, Americans, it is unconscionable to think that in the land of the free and brave, we don't have a freedom of choice in our medical um, desires and things that change lives. And since you know about and I know about, yes, we do have these options and we do need to educate through foundations and, and institutions. Oh, absolutely. You know, we've seen this whole shift from, from, from sick treatment to preventative health care. But as we've watched that, that transfer, we've watched people on both sides become uh, more educated. Healthcare practitioners, individuals. In fact, I saw an article in USA Today, February 1999. 43% of the people surfing the internet are looking for alternative health care information. Absolutely. The Journal of the American Medical Association the year before published a statement that said that, that in the prior year they had lost 727 million patient visits to alternative health care providers. These people spent billions of dollars on the alternative. So now we all know that the issue is real. What we don't have is unity. Healthcare MD professionals in one corner, we've got the FDA in another corner, we've got nutritional supplement manufacturers and dealers in another corner. It's time we came together and formed a partnership because the longer we delay, lives are being lost. Our relatives, our loved ones are perishing because of this battle. We need to bring to the healthcare professionals the exact kind of studies, protocol governed studies that they are used to receiving from their other product manufacturers. We need to take these products, these nutritional supplementations, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and test them and, and, and give them the same standard of testing. Well, we've done the testing over the last years. I mean, I turned around cancer. I had cancer and I turned around and that's why I do the show. So now folks, to take that step, if you're suffering chronic or degenerative diseases, and you're serious about making changes, honest changes, and you need more information. They can call you, they can call me, and we can give them information. It's absolutely free. And we can give them answers to all their questions. Absolutely, Basil. That's what we're all about, is disseminating information. That's the thing. Teaching others. What you've learned today, please teach others. God will be with you. Now, um, our honored guest here, Wayne, you have put your money where your mouth is. You are funding these things. I appreciate it. The public appreciate that. And you've brought in Dr. David Genjeni, who is going to come in next and tell us a lot more that we need to know. Thank you.